years off back in the cage. I mean, was it what you expected it to be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there was – there was no doubt in my mind. I, you know, a lot of people thought, you know, I'm going to have ring rust because it was two, two years off and, you know, I was an underdog. Nah, it, you know, I changed, I changed my nickname to the Phoenix, man. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm still Eric, but I'm a completely different person, you know. Um, I, I want, I've been wanting to fight for years, but I've been having setbacks. I've been having injuries. You know, it's, it's been tough, but it's kind of a blessing in disguise because it just m mentally made me such a stronger person. There, w there was no doubt in this fight. It wasn't like, oh, whatever happens, happens. No, I'm going to win this fight, you know, and that, that's the mentality you got to have. All, all champions have that mentality. So it's just something, you know, I put everything together. It's all together now. Now I'm just going to go for the ride. What did you do in the two years of time, and how did you stave off any of those fears that you know the injuries might overcome? You know, I've, I've been I was training the whole time. the The only reason it was two years is because you know I'd have a fight and it'd be coming close, and then I'd get injured, and then it'd be like, okay, well we gotta back out of the fight, heal up, get another fight. Up, oh, broke my hand. You know, like just little stuff like that, and it tests you. It definitely does test you. And you know, I you know who I have respect for, Dominic Cruz, because that's exactly what he went through. I, I was kind of feeling like I was getting that Dominic Cruz. You know. Everybody knows me from WEC. Everybody forgot that I was supposed to fight for a world title. That's annoying to me. You know, that drives me nuts. So, like, that's what I want. I want to come out here and make a statement like, no, guys, like, I I'm here. You know, I've been fighting since I was 16 years old, you know. I've been doing combat sports since I was four. You know, I'm not going to have ring rust. Even two, three, four years off? No. I, I, this is my life. This is what I've done. So, ring rust was never an issue for me. It was just getting here. Fight week, I'm getting down on my knees like, yes, we're here, you know. I don't, I don't have to worry about get, being injured, you know. So that, that's what I mean when I put it all together. I just mentally I'm there. I'm there. I, I want to talk about that finish because it seemed like you did set up the choke, uh, kind of yeah. letting him up a little bit. It, was that in the plan? Like when you had him down, was it going through your mind it, that I need to set this up? It is. It actually was. It's a funny thing because I could hear my coach, uh, Duke, the, you know, a lot of them were – were saying he was going to turn spin out and they, he was giving the head and arm choke. I love that head and arm choke. I usually go for it. But some of the things you, in the fight that happened that people don't see, I had, uh, I think I had kind of um, an inverted half guard and I was, I was popping the, the body a little bit and he was uh, 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 grunting, you know. And he took the fight short, short notice. I know he cut a lot of weight for this and I, I, I could feel his energy dropping. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep warming him up until he gives me his back because he's he's going that way. He's gonna go, he's gonna give me his back and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. You know, I just wanna get home to my family. You know, this is big for my dad. My dad's my biggest supporter and uh, <laughs> he's ecstatic right now. I know he is, so I just wanna go home. He, he, hadn't, he hasn't drinking a beer in probably 30-something years. He got in a real bad accident. I found out he had one with my brother a couple weeks ago, and I was like, are you kidding me? You haven't drank in 35 years? So I said if I win this fight, I come back, we're having a beer. So I'm looking forward to that more than anything.